Welcome to Mark's Mini Video Tips. I'm your host, Mark Silber. Today we're going to look at using a flash with your digital camera. Now Ansel Adams said in his book, Artificial Light, that using artificial light creatively has to be both simple yet logical. Logical because you want to match what light is already doing. Now when you have a pop-up flash, you're shooting straight on into your subject, bam, and that's not very logical or natural. So what we use is one of these. This is a cobra head flash. Cobra head because you can move it around like a cobra head. And what you can do with it is you can bounce it off the ceiling or turn it like that and bounce it off a wall or a curtain. Now here's an example of a shot straight on. And here's one bounced. Notice how the shadows disappear and it's a much more natural shot. The other thing you can add is a diffuser which comes with your flash. And what that does is it adds another natural element of diffused light. Light coming in through a window or through the trees is diffused. That's going to give you a much softer and less harsh look. Now one other thing, you're taking pictures of people outside in the shade or in a room with uh, very little light. You're going to get raccoon eyes. What you can do is set your flash for balanced light or fill light. And what that's going to do is balance it in with the ambient light of the room Fill in those raccoon eyes, give a little spark in the person's eye. Gives you a much more natural shot. You can also do that by dialing it down manually one or two stops. Now, remember to put fresh batteries. You don't want to run out of juice in the middle of a shoot. Last thing, no matter what's going on with the outside of your camera, remember to look under the hood. That's where your images live on your compact flash card. You want something that's safe, reliable and high capacity. That's why we choose SanDisk. Thanks for joining me. I'm Mark Silber.